Hello, you're with Theo again for FPM Kingdom and I did not do a video last week and I'm sorry I didn't even put up a notice about it or anything but um, I had tonsillitis, I've still got tonsillitis and um, I couldn't even speak so it wouldn't have been a very thrilling video and I have a really itchy nose um, and this week we are talking about sex and sexuality um, I believe I've mentioned I'm gay, I don't exactly um, hide it, <laughs> and so I like boys, whether they are trans or cis or they're gender queer but like masculine identified, I just, it's just people who identify as male basically, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, so I have been with girls in the past and I've identified as bi in the past, but I don't believe I can be physically attracted to girls unless I have an emotional connection with them like um, I want to make them happy and you know it's like all their other attributes sort of make me sexually attracted to them if that makes sense which it probably doesn't but um I don't like look at girls and find them sexually attractive I find them attractive but not in a sexual way um I don't believe that crosses over with being trans at all for me I think I would be attracted to men whether I was a cis guy or even cis female or anything like that I just don't I think it's just who I am and um, I believe my sexuality has got stronger if that makes sense since um, I started testosterone because um, well it, it does like heighten your sexual drive for most people and so it sort of made me more gay because I'm just thinking about cocks an awful lot of the time <laughs> and um, yeah I'm, I'm happy to admit it I like cocks cocks are great but um, you don't have to have a cock for me to find you attractive but I just I just think they're just neat um, so but sex in itself um, I don't know I haven't had it in a very long time and I basically prefer to disclose it to people before have sex with them obviously because otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a shock if you know um but i've never um i've never met somebody with the intention of solely dating them it's usually that i just have friends and then it sort of develops into something else so it's never really been an issue they've always known um i think the only time i've been with somebody who didn't know was I was when I was in university and it was just a random guy but we didn't really have sex it was just like all stuff and <laughs> that was really TMI I'm sorry but um yeah and I just didn't say anything so, and then he left before I kicked him out before it moved on any further than that basically but um I was drunk so fair enough um yeah so I prefer to tell partners I guess um, after I have surgery, whether I will or whether I won't, it depends on who I'm with, I guess. I, it depends. Um, but if I'd had surgery and everything was convincing, or however you want to put it, I suppose I would just try and luck out with it. You know, if it was somebody I was never going to see again, it was just me one night stand. Even though I'm not that kind of person, I would, um, I would do that. All depends on how my confidence was, I guess. Um basically so that's pretty much it yeah gay likes cocks yeah so boys that's that's how my mind goes um and i will see you next week sorry this wasn't very good